There are many challenges when replacing short sections of gas mains, particularly in traffic-sensitive areas. Introducing the Stevic FBOSS system, the only technique which enables the total replacement of metallic T1 stubs under live conditions. The system can be applied to legacy stubs, stranded mains, current or planned replacement schemes and leakage control. By using FBOSS, not only is mains renewal accomplished remotely, but the gas feed is retained during replacement. The operation also permanently seals the annular space between the new PE pipe and the metallic stub, right up to the final transition joint, preventing future leakage. FBOSS is suitable for renewing sections up to 25 meters, between 4 and 8 inches in diameter. It's ideal for situations at busy road junctions or intersections where traffic disruption needs to be kept to a minimum. The FBOSS system provides a number of key benefits. It's environmentally friendly, minimizing traffic management and excavation size. Due to its remote application, it reduces disruption to pedestrians and road users. It improves safety for both the public and the workforce by removing them from areas of risk. Overall, FBOSS reduces costs and disruption to the network and the customer. An excavation is dug at a distance of up to 25 meters from the connection to the parent main. A camera survey is undertaken to ascertain the length to the main's connection and the final position of the nose cone. The flow stopping and bypass points are identified at this stage. The bypass and flow stop equipment is connected. Once the bypass is in place, the existing stub is temporarily flow stopped using traditional technology. The PE main is then squeezed off and disconnected from the existing network, ready for FBOSS insertion. The hollow nose cone of the FBOSS system can now be prepared and electrofused to the new PE pipe, which will then be ready for insertion into the old metallic stub. The primary umbilical is now fed through the gas-tight gland box and attached to the nose cone. Once the primary umbilical is connected, the secondary umbilical can be fed through the gland box and secured to the towing hose tail. A CCTV system is inserted into the tail of the PE so that the installation can be observed from the open end of the nose cone. The FBOSS nose cone assembly is inserted into the stub end and the gas-tight gland box compression fitting is attached and tightened. At this point, the flow stopping equipment can be removed to allow the gas within the stub to fill and purge the inserted PE pipe. The FBOSS system can now be inserted via the gland box into the stub until it reaches the final predetermined seal position where the stub attaches to the parent main. Video from the CCTV camera inside the nose cone can be viewed during the insertion to ensure that it reaches the correct position prior to the sealing operation taking place. Once correctly located at the junction, the foam injection can commence. The design of the FBOSS system supports both one-way and two-way fed stubs. The foam bag can now be injected with the LC14 approved sealant via the primary umbilical. After a 30-minute curing period has lapsed and the annular space shows no pressure reading, the secondary foam injection can commence. The secondary foam injection permanently seals the entire annular space between the new PE insert and the old metallic stub. The foam sealant used in FBOSS is fully GIS LC14 compliant. The Stevic FBOSS system is not only safer and more cost-effective than traditional methods, it's also unique in offering 100% abandonment of the annular space whilst renewing the main, ensuring there can be no gas leaks in the future. For more information, please give us a call or visit our website.